Am I the astronaut for telling my mom my wedding is not the time or place to try and trick her daughter as a test? <sighs> my mom was married to another guy before my dad, and she has a daughter, Elizabeth, 35 female, from that marriage. They divorced when Elizabeth was two, and she met my dad a year later. My mom's ex-husband was pretty bitter about it, and for years they thought it wasn't impacting Elizabeth, and he wasn't bringing her into his anger about mom moving on. They found out the truth when mom was pregnant with me, 26 male. Elizabeth started saying all kinds of shit about my dad and me, and she told mom she wanted her to lose the baby. Ooh, what the? That's, that's extreme hate. She told my mom that she and her dad would say prayers for my dad and me to die and for her to be a family with them again. She also confessed to lying to the neighbor about stuff my dad said. They apparently knew the neighbor had been weird with him and them for a while, but they had no idea why. She was also lying in school and to her friend's parents about my dad being super strict and mean and not letting her do a bunch of stuff. What the hell's going on with this kid? I know my mom ended up winning full custody by the time I was one, and her ex was ordered to take parenting classes and therapy. The memories I have of Elizabeth living with us are not pleasant. She always wished me and dad dead, and I remember her wishing other disturbing things on us. She told me she hated me and that I was a f up on mom's part. She said my dad was a bed warmer who didn't get that he was supposed to leave. I didn't really know what a lot of stuff meant at the time, but it became clearer with age. She even tore up photos around the house to cut dad and me out. My parents had her in therapy. I remember she used to go a few times a week. It never worked. Then when she was 14 or 15, she went to live with her dad after she got to decide. My mom did everything to try and keep helping Elizabeth, even though she was at her dad's and Elizabeth was supposed to keep going to therapy. Elizabeth told mom she had to choose between her and us, me and dad. My mom... Mom told her she wanted all of us in her life, and Elizabeth said she'd rather watch the two of us die. Dad really did a number on this kid, right? Last time I saw Elizabeth was at my high school graduation. Her husband's sister or brother was graduating too. She was still as hateful as ever. I haven't seen her since, but my dad saw her twice, and she, she was as cruel to him as ever. But my mom hasn't given up that she'll realize what her dad did and that we are not to blame for them not all being a family and that dad and I aren't as bad as her dad made her think. Elizabeth has started talking to our mutual grandparents again and now my mom and grandparents want to trick Elizabeth into being at my wedding to show her she can be around us. Mom said it would be a test to see if she can be civil, at least, and I said, no way, that my wedding is not the time or place for that and none of them can come if they insist on trying that. Mom begged me to reconsider so we could have Elizabeth back. I told her I never had her in the first place and to get her back, I'm not letting her daughter ruin my wedding. Am I the Askinaut? Why would somebody be willing to put your entire wedding at risk? Why? 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 Damn it, why? Top comment here. The last 100 times that Elizabeth was near us, she wished us dead. But maybe the 101st time she's near us, she'll be a delight to be around. <laughs> Mom! I understand that, I understand, you know, the, the wishes are pure. But this does not pass the reality test. This is Delulu thinking that she's going to behave at your son's wedding and being willing to put your son's wedding at risk. Now your son feels worthless because it's like you're just throwing him under the bus. What the hell? Even if, even if Elizabeth gradually turns around, she won't make a complete 180 so soon. So she would still be unpleasant to be around for the foreseeable future, especially if she gets tricked. I can't fathom why your mother thinks that tricking her is a good idea. And even if for some reason you would be willing to risk taking abuse from, her, from Elizabeth to please your mother... This isn't just your day. Your responsibility that day is towards your wife, not towards your mother. And I can't see how your wife would ever be fine with this NTA. True. We haven't talked about the partner yet. Does, does your partner, OP, know that your mom is talking about risking your day? Your, meaning the both of yours, your day to just see if this mm, deeply damaged girl will behave one time out of a million. Dad did a number on her. I mean, dad is the ultimate piece of shit in this story because he would he would pray with this little girl that you all would die. That's how he taught he taught her how to cope. All of her coping mechanisms were were seeded by him. And and she has been unwilling to untangle them in therapy. She's been unwilling to change. If someone does not want to change, they will not change, mom. I get it. She's your kid. And seeing her in this state and seeing seeing it prevent you both from having a relationship with each other is probably one of the greatest pains you could ever feel. You cannot fix this for her. She has to want 
to fix it. And being willing to put your son and your son's partner's day at risk to see if if maybe she'll be tolerable for a day is going to harm your relationship with your other child. What at what point were you like, there would there would be no dramatic effects from this at all? There will be nothing negative happen. How are you gonna how are you gonna silo her from from damaging that day, from ruining everything? You think tricking her to show up at a wedding, which, by the way, how the hell are you going to pull that off? You're going to tell her it's a funeral or some shit? Probably because they, she wants everybody dead and she dressed up. She would come dressed up like black tie formal. Oh, yeah, it's a wedding. It's not a funeral. You think she's just going to take that and be like, oh, yes, I'm very happy for you. Every day of my life prior to this day, I have wished you dead. But today, I am glad to see you happy and in love. No, mom. No, no. That's that's Delulu. I'm sorry, but it is. You cannot risk your other child to try to rescue the child that doesn't want to be rescued. Can't do it. Can't do it. Ugh. Uh, El Martinez, not sure if Elizabeth is a psychopath or sociopath. Agreed. I, I thought about that. I think it is a... Uh, um, I mean, she was trained to be this way, right? Because dad, I mean, she was probably fine until the split up happened, but then dad made it his life mission to pray with her every night that everybody dies. I'm going to go with sociopath. Beer today, if they move forward with this, I vote road trip with a camera. I, you know, I, I, uh, <sighs> I said I would never do photography or, or video for a wedding again. I would make an exception for this. I would make an exception. I would do it pro bono. I mean, what you're going to get isn't going to be all lovey and dovey. It's going to be basically me waiting for shit to hit the fan. <sighs> it's going to be a very different kind of video. I'll use the same kind of music that you expect. Very lovey-dovey, singer-songwriter music, but it's going to be like <laughs> shit hitting the fan. I mean, if she if she got to the point where she was actually uh, harming others, then you maybe could force help upon her. But even then, she still has to want help to actually change, to actually have a valuable life, to actually have a relationship that has any kind of positive value to it. I mean, dad, yeah. OG dad here is a real piece of shit. Real piece of shit. So the, the, the question was, am I the astronaut for telling my mom my wedding is not the time or place to try and trick her daughter as a test? Uh, if we haven't said it yet, MTA, OP, but I fear you're going to need to get more firm with this boundary because if she's even considering it, that's, that's a big red flag. And you're going to have to be like, yeah, I said, I said no. I need to make sure that you understand that this doesn't just means no this means no and if you proceeded to partake in any part of this plan we would be no contact for the rest of our lives do you understand unfortunately you're going to have to have a conversation where you reinforce this boundary because the fact that she was willing to put you to use you as bait to risk your wedding day as collateral damage is is worrisome this is not her day to be able to make any kind of decisions that would put this at risk. It's not her day to make those decisions. If she wants some kind of social experiment to use that, then, then she needs to go have her own wedding. If she wants the ability to make that decision, she cannot do this.